Hey everyone, welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. Um, in this little tutorial, it's going to be really short, I wanted to go over uh, gradient map coloring. So typically when we start a new canvas, we have it set to color. Um, and so I'm just going to draw a sphere. Uh, I'm going to use this selection tool to get a perfect circle here. And I'm going to use the uh, spray can or airbrush uh, tool. And as you can see, I'm coloring it with a kind of like an aquamarine green, and uh, and I'm just going down the the, uh, the cube here, this uh, color uh, square, to get darker shades of that particular color, and then I'm just uh, just spraying it, making it look as as round as possible. Uh, and then I'm gonna go over to the white and just you know put some highlights. Uh, and then the, also the reflective uh, glare on the back there. Uh, so there's there's a sphere. Uh, looks three dimensional. It's colored nicely, except that if you wanted to change the color to orange, uh, you would have to do that process all over again. And so uh, you can certainly change the property of that one raster layer to grayscale. And now you can see that it, it's uh, grayscale. And this helps uh, in ways uh, because sometimes it's a lot easier to see uh, your your gradients in a black and white instead of a, a color, a specific color. So uh, what I'm going to do is open up a new document, but instead I'm going to start it off as grayscale. Um, and then that way, every layer that we, every new raster layer that we uh, call will have grayscale property. I don't have to uh, manually change it every single time. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing again. And uh, you can see I'm still in the aqua, aquamarine green. and But when I laid the, the color down, it's gray. Uh, and then I'm just going to go down the line again and choose the various shades of gray. Even though um, my color wheel is telling me it's uh, aquamarine green. And again, this helps um, you, the artist, see uh, your gradual progression of, um, of your color. Uh, in this case, it's, it's still gray grayscale, but we'll put a color to it just with the gradient map. But this grayscale helps us see the gradual sh uh, change from uh, light to dark. So it's a very uh, useful tool. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, create a new raster layer. And uh, I'm going to draw a cone on this one. Because I, I want to show you guys how you can uh, do two different colors. So here you can see I've changed the color to like a, a burnt orange. And it's, it's still, you'll see when I lay down the, uh, the color, it's going to be just as gray as when I painted the sphere. So again, I'm using the selection tool just, just to get those uh, sharp, even edges on uh, on these uh, drawings here but this works on anything so if you have any kind of drawing um, whether freehand or whatever and you want to color it I would suggest uh, do it in grayscale and just it doesn't even matter what color you pick uh, aquamarine green or burnt orange or red or blue or yellow it doesn't matter in a grayscale uh, raster it's all gonna be gray um, just use your whites for your highlights. So I'm putting the highlights here on the cone and we can see we have now a cone and a sphere. Now it's better to have um, two different objects in, t in two different layers, but you can certainly do it um, when it's consolidated all on one raster. But for this example, I'm going to leave them separated like, like this just to make things easier. So I'm going to select the sphere and the easiest way to select the sphere um, is just to click outside the sphere and then invert it because if you click inside the sphere with the magic wand There's different layers here of uh, your color. So you'll be clicking a lot So the easiest way click outside the sphere Invert your selection now you have the inside sphere now once you have that selected you can come to your layer and New correction layer and down at the very bottom gradient map now this warning is just telling you that this uh, this tool does not work for the older versions of uh, Clip Studio Paint. So this seems to be a new tool and it uh, only works with the newer versions. 
And so here they have some pre-selected uh, uh, color uh, gradients. You can select just by double clicking um, anything here and you can see our sphere is now changing colors. Um, and so you can play around with whatever uh, different uh, gradient you want. Um, and these are pre-select, pre-made already in, in Clip Studio Paint. And, and above the, the colors, you have uh, your sets. Um, so we're going to hit OK. Uh, here in a minute, I'll show you how uh, you can create your own custom gradients uh, colors. So uh, now I'm in the cone. So I'm going to choose, again, Layer, New Correction Layer, and then Gradient Map. OK for the warning. And then I can pick a different color. Um, maybe a purple, a green. And also, you can come over here and you can switch the gradient. Let's say you want to change the light source. So the light source is coming from this side or, or the other side. All you got to do is just flip the gradient and you'll have the reverse. Now you can go back into it by clicking the gray square, the gray square next to uh, your mask there, and uh, you can do the same thing. So it doesn't quite work too well for the sphere. Um, I don't think that's how the light from the opposite side of the sphere would <laughs> affect the the shading. But um, for some things it'll work, some things it won't. I'm sure, but it seemed to work very well for the for the cone. So again, uh, let's let's see about creating our own custom gradient. So I'm over here on the color wheel, just picking a color. I want to pick maybe something like this. First, so that's the first thing you need to do is, is select a color from on the color wheel. Make sure it's selected. Then you double click on that gray uh, square again where your gradient map is. And what you want to do is find a template first. Um, the best one I think is if you come over here to the sets and you go to um, oh there here here's some other uh, sets that are pre pre-made. Um, so what we're gonna do is create our own set and cr create our own uh, gradient. So if you come down here to effects and there's this one called white black, um, that's the best one because it it just has two ends of the spectrum, the black and the white. Um, so once we have that, we'll um, click this little uh, wrenches here uh, on the side and we'll create a, a new set and give it whatever name. I'm just going to call it test. Hit OK. And so now we have a set um, that's called test. And then the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to click this black square here. And this brings up this color wheel. We'll choose the eyedropper and then we'll come down to where our color wheel is down here. And we'll select the color. Make sure we're all to the all the way to the left, and uh, hit OK. And uh, so there's our new gradient, and it goes from our pre-selected color to all the way, all it it, genu it gradually goes all the way down to white. And so we hit this little Add button here down at the bottom. We'll give it a name, Test One. Hit OK. And so now we have our own custom uh, gradient map in our own custom set so um, we can create our own set and just put whatever uh, colors we want in there so yeah this is was just a really quick tutorial on gradient map coloring um, give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful uh, if you got any comments leave them down below and uh, I hope you guys uh, learned something and I hope uh, this helps you use clip studio paint uh, even more because uh, it's, it's got a lot of great tools, and, and I hope uh, this helps out. Uh, so I hope to catch you guys in the next one.